Ladies and gentlemen, after what seems like forever, we are finally back with one of my most highly requested, longest awaited videos, how to set up a 5M server. Now this is going to be a multiple part series and I'm going to keep them all short and sweet, 7 to 8 minutes max each. So today we're just going to cover the basics of getting you through the door, setting up your framework, getting you ready to go ahead and customize it for your own liking. Now your first step, go ahead, visit the first link in the description to the 5m.net artifacts. Me personally, I always go with latest recommended unless I know I need something specific. If you have scripts that need older builds, then you're going to go down check the dates and find whatever build you need but for the purpose of the tutorial and just keeping it simple go ahead and click latest recommended my downloads blocked but uh so that's going to start giving us a zip folder now you're going to want winwar or 7zip or something to unzip that but while it's downloading you're going to want to start a brand new folder named whatever you'd like to name your server Mine will be test server and inside of this folder you're going to make a second one and name that server all lowercase just like that and in here is where we're going to actually drag those files you're going to want to track down that folder open it up and highlight everything from citizen to the bottom of the folder here Grab it all and we are going to drag and drop it inside that server folder I had you guys create. Now step one is complete. Inside you can go ahead and close that Renoir server folder with everything dragged. You're going to want to scroll down and locate your fx server.exe folder or file. Double click that and that will start up your server and kind of help build its first couple steps. Also, it's going to send us on over into TX admin and you should have an autofill code here. Just want to link your account and that'll take us to the CFX login. So if you don't have a CFX account, it's basically the account you need to play 5M. You're going to want to go to a forum cfx.re and create your account and then go back to this page and if you already got an account like I do you should just be brought to here and you hit continue this is where we set up our TX admin which is basically how you can run restart the server give yourself admin permissions use different commands and etc as well as kick and ban regular moderation stuff anyway so your login for your server is going to be whatever your CFX account is. Mine zips effects, obviously. And you're going to want to set up a password for your server. I'd secure it with a pretty good password. Go ahead, accept the terms and conditions, and create your master account. So now we're in phase two of setting up our server. Here it's going to tell you they have no record of you being an admin, blah, blah, blah. Just hit next. Right here's your server name, so for me I'm gonna do zips. Right there, boom. Zips test server next. This is where things get a little bit complex, but it's okay. These bottoms you're gonna ignore completely. This one is if you bought servers pre-built, you're going to want to set up your server via this. You'd select it and then select the files that you got from whoever. For the sake of keeping things simple, the tutorial. We'll come back and do that on a second tutorial. For now, just worry about popular recipes. Go ahead and click that. And there's only three to worry about. These are for Red Dead Redemption, so it's not applicable. Start, we've got the CFX default, which is just right there. Just the base resources required to run a 5M server. Period, point blank. Then we've got ESX, which is a framework, the original framework other than cfx it comes with a little more things so it would come with jobs housing vehicles etc and then the qb core is a little more advanced newer framework that's the third eye framework where you would hold 
alt or whatever they have it set for that would open your third eye to where you could open doors open your trunk on your car or whatever you got to do we are going to just start the default in episode two i'm going to break down the difference between esx and qb and also install one of the other or both onto our framework but for now just keep things simple and show you how to set up a server right here the base resources everything we'll need no worry this is all good let's hit save on that you're good to go ahead and hit recipe deployer now this is basically going to inject our script into our server and get our files and and different resources functioning properly ahead and click next there's nothing too big there this is our last major point where we go to key master and this is basically where you get like the licensing for your server to get it up and running on the 5m network so brings you to this site here it's the cfx official site just go ahead and sign in you'll sign in with your cfx account and i already have servers here but for the sake of the video i'll throw that one away you guys won't have anything in any of these it'll just be empty empty zero out of three you're gonna want to head over to new server display name whatever you'd like your your server to be named here is the important part so whether you're on a vps a dedicated server rented server whatever the case is the setup is completely universal the same throughout every system only thing that matters is getting the right ip address so make sure if you're on your vps or any sort of server that isn't your own computer at when you go to this site second link in the description what is my ip make sure you open this link on the server device that you have if you open this link on your regular computer without opening it through the vps it's going to give you the wrong ip basically all you need to do is copy your ipv4 go ahead and take that back over to the uh, key master pop that in there and then select the server type so make sure this is the type of server that you're running if you're running dedicated select dedicated vps vps etc me i'm going to be just doing this for testing purposes on my home hosted so home hosted is there and then if you have a provider you name your provider for me i'm just going to put home and then you tell me you're not a robot go ahead and generate and this will give you your key so you're going to, want to go ahead and copy your key go on over to your server deployer paste your key and run the recipe so while that's building and doing the things it needs to it'll pop you up into this folder don't worry about that for now just minimize it go back and hit next now this is your server config that's basically where you name your server your description of your server where you make sure you run all your scripts add admins etc it's basically the whole configuration file for your server to keep things simple just go ahead and go over to your host name and name it what you would like for me i'm just going to minimize it down to uh, zips test server and then same thing here get rid of this and then for my description I'm just going to put dot 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 and then that's good after that you're just going to want to hit save and run server now your server is going to run and it's going to be installing and injecting different code and uh, scripts to get everything functional and running properly just go ahead and let it do its thing for now i'll be back with you after a little bit after everything installs and seems to be running properly you're going to want to click this icon here this is your server running for now we're going to go ahead and close that out and i'll show you how to start the server out from the ground up take us back all the way to test server our folder looks a little different now so that's the original server folder and we've got tx data and start start here is going to be what you're going to want to do to start the server up just to show you some things before we get there your tx data you open that up and you open up your base this is where you get to the things that matter so your server config this is where you would go to open and edit and also your resource folder where you would install all your mods your frameworks everything your clothes everything that matters the most 
uh, for your server to function how you'd like. But that'll be for the next episode that I'll go into depth on that. Basically, go back here to your test server. Double click your start. Now it's going to start up all the scripts, do what it needs to, and as soon as you see authenticated with cfx.renucleus, that means your server is good and ready to go connect to launch 5M at this point. And it's going to be a little different for me than it will be for you because I'm on my home hosted server. But, and I also have a pretty, pretty bad connection, so I don't know if it's going to let me. But I've got this option here to connect to my own server. For you, you're going to either have to press F8, type out connect, base, and paste your IP address that you had earlier. The same one that you used to set up the server with. Or, you can just go the old fashioned way, hit play, and search up your server. For me, just to, for testing purposes, I'm going to show you mine up and running and working. I hope I can connect because I do have one of the worst Wi-Fi connections ever. After what took forever, what it seems like, we're finally loading in. But, as you can see, we've got a base stop version of 5m got a server up and running i didn't give myself tx admin but i do have it so we can no clip do what you need to do but we've got a text channel everything you need to have a base stock server now so this is a base setup quick and easy how to set up a 5m server in the next episode we'll go into more depth on scripts resources different frameworks and how to install those so if you enjoyed smack the like button appreciate you guys coming by i'll see you in the next one peace